Well, hi again. This is uh, Chuck. This is our Aquaculture Home Project Part 2. Well, my last uh, video posting, uh, we had a lot, we didn't have quite as much uh, gravel in the grow bed, nor did we have any plants, nor did we have fish. So here's what I've done. Okay. I've got two tick marks down here. Okay, here's a mark right here. I don't know that lighting is very good. There's a black mark, and then there's a black mark up here. That's a low and high level, and I've adjusted that using this loop siphon. And as you can see right here, the water is starting to fill up, and this is going to kick in. And then what we've done is we've added a uh, PVC pipe that takes it down into the water. Okay, so the water level is just about up there. You're going to hear a, sound, a sucking sound here, and, and then it's going to take off. It works very, very well. I was really surprised. You know, I wanted to build one of those uh, bell siphons, but it looked a little bit complex for my ability, so I discovered the, uh, the loop siphon. I've been very, very pleased. Uh, with the results. As you can see we put a few plants up here. These are plants we, were, uh, we started several months ago. Well probably about six weeks ago using uh, seeds from last year. Uh, my wife threw in some green beans. We've got some uh, lettuce and we got a tomato there and add a couple more plants. Uh, we'll get a little bit of time here. Okay so the uh, here's, here's the uh, tank and you can see the water flowing down there. There's some air from the agitation of the water draining. Oh. There we go. So we can see that the water now is at this particular level. Okay, did I uh, buy a bigger pump to support this 150 gallons worth of water? I was feeding a, a few air stones. Uh, I've got a really big one down there, a foot long. And then over here we got the smaller air stones. Uh, we're going to see how that does as far as putting uh, oxygen into the water. We brought the home, uh, the fish home yesterday. The uh, uh, we've added a 300 watt heater, and two days ago we put that in there, and the temperature was 55 degrees, and uh, we got it up to 65. Went to the pet store. My wife did uh, check the chemistry of the water, those basics, and we brought bought 20 comet goldfish. They're about three inches long each on average. And you can see there they are. In fact, the water's a lot clearer now. When we put in the, the lava rock and that peat gravel, it kind of clouded up the water. It's been about three days. It's been getting a lot better. I've gone through a couple of filters, which I've also added since the last time. This is really small, clearly undersized, but it is certainly doing a really good job uh, filtering out the, uh, the sediment. Okay, you can see how that nasty that looks. So it's working. So. Give that a couple of days and I'll go ahead and change that out again. Okay, so with the water chemistry set, uh, the water temperature is now probably about 68 degrees. These goldfish like it from 65 to 75. Now our goal is to grow catfish, tilapia, a mix. I understand they do very well together. Uh, however, I wanted to experiment with some uh, cheaper fish so I can get these at the local store. Uh, finding tilapia and uh, catfish locally in, uh, near, near uh, Charleston, South Carolina. I haven't found a source yet, so if I have to order, you know, shipping is pretty expensive. It's almost $150, $180 just to ship 25 to 50, uh, 50 uh, fingerlings uh, here to South Carolina. So still looking for that. We're practicing with these guys. They seem to be pretty happy. Uh, I'm glad to see that this evening they decided to come up. I just got done putting some feed out there, and I mixed using this little goldfish feed. But as the system works, so uh, you know the pump takes the water out, brings it to the top where it filters it, pours it into the grow bed, and then as it fills up, it then drains. So we're going to see what happens here. And just one thing, a reminder: we do have a GFCI ground fault circuit interrupter. You definitely need those when you're working with electricity and water. And that up there is the lighting.